A YouTuber is having a problem with his antique multimeter, and he sent me this diagram. This is just part of it, the part that uh, has a transistor amplifier in it. And you can see that there's a lot of Darlington circuits here. And the complaint is, when he uh, turns it on to any position, and I'm just choosing one here, that the meter will deflect all the way and it stays there and he can't do anything with it. Well, one thing that I would do first is, these are variable resistors. I think the resistors that are marked with arrows are user adjusted when you're using the meter and the others that have a bar at the end I think those are for calibration but for all of these uh, what I would do on all these variable resistors is I'd put a couple of drops of WD-40 on the media uh, that holds the carbon run if this is a old meter what has happened is that that media has shrunk and just a few drops now, don't overdo it, just a few drops of WD-40 will allow that media to swell back up to its original place and make contact again. Let's go through the biasing of this circuit. It's rather complex, but it's very interesting. Over here, we have a voltage divider, which is one part of the biasing of this circuit. And it goes through here over to this transistor here. And what this is doing is, depending on how much this conducts, this will adjust the voltage right here, which is part of the emitter voltage of this transistor, but it's also the emitter voltage for this transistor over here, which also influences the bias of this transistor. Now the rest of the bias of this transistor goes up through here. It also goes down here into the rest of the meter, but the biasing is going through these two transistors and the only thing that's used here are the emitter part which makes two diodes back to back. And here's another lead going down into the meter so right here is where the information comes into this circuit that's being measured. Okay, getting back to the bias for this setup, that goes through here, and here is another voltage bridge from positive to negative. And I believe, again, this is adjusted by the customer or the user and this is calibration. Okay, now all this sets up the bias for this transistor right here. And of course, depending on what this does, it will influence this transistor and then this transistor will influence this transistor that drives the meter. Okay, again his complaint is wherever he turns it on here, this meter goes all the way over and stays there. So what I would do is I would get a thousand ohm resistor and use it as a test tool and 
I would start right here at the transistor that drives the meter. There's two possibilities. Either this transistor is shorted or it is biased that way so it conducts. Well, to find out, I would try this. I would get a 1,000 ohm resistor and put one end of the resistor here and one end of the resistor here. Because this is a PNP transistor, this transistor will conduct when this is positive. So if we make it more negative, that should turn off this transistor and if this transistor is good, this meter should turn off or at least deflect uh, much less. Okay, let's say that that happens. In other words, when we put our 1,000 ohm resistor between here and here, between the base and negative, the meter turns off. Okay, well, we continue on in this direction to this transistor. Okay, well, remember the meter's on all the way now. So, and we're saying that this transistor is good, so that means we got positive here. What we want here is more negative to turn this transistor off. Okay, let's take a look at this transistor. What do we have to do to make it more negative here? We've got to make this transistor conduct. In other words, short out more to the negative side of the battery. So if we make this conduct more, there'll be less positive voltage here. And to do that, I would put my 1000 ohm resistor between here, the base and the positive side of the battery. Try to make that transistor saturate. That should short this out to only 1500 ohms should make this much more negative, should turn this transistor off, and the meter should come down. If it doesn't, this transistor could be bad. Don't forget to check all the resistors, <coughs> excuse me, all the resistors, because if this was open, it never would go negative here. We'd always have a high positive voltage here. But chances are the problem is a transistor. Okay, well let's say that that happens when we put our positive voltage here through a 1000 ohm resistor the meter comes down. Well, we continue on to this next transistor here. Okay, so that means we want this more positive. So what do we need to do to this transistor to make this more positive here. Well, we make that more negative. So, I would put the 1000 ohm resistor between the base and again the negative side of the battery. And if this transistor is functioning and all the rest of the transistors are functioning, that meter movement should come down or go off all the way. And if you make it that far, well, that means that there's something wrong right here in this voltage divider here or on these two leads right here. But I believe that you'll find something wrong in one of these transistors. Now if on all the scales here were wrong, let's say the meter worked but all the readings were wrong on your DC voltage, your AC voltage, and your ohms, I would suspect 
this transistor right here because look where it is. It does set up the bias for this transistor here, but it's dependent on each setting here. There's different resistances through here. So this is adjusting the bias for each of the selections so that this transistor right here is set up correctly to drive the rest of the circuit for DC voltage, AC voltage, and ohms. Well, I hope this helped you out in understanding this circuit and you'll be successful troubleshooting this circuit. Thanks for watching.